one of the biggest challenges from any new fiction is that it's a blank slate. You can do anything. At first, that sounds cool, like, hey, you can do anything. But then you realize, wow, I can do anything. And you got to give yourself rules. You got to come up with something that makes sense. Stuff has to be together. Fiction has to not contradict itself. Suddenly, you realize that that blank slate's a lot more work than it initially seems it'll be. Darkstar's world was created pretty collaboratively. We all threw in ideas. You can't really pinpoint one originator of everything. As far as how the world plays, all the NPCs, all the different factions and fiction and stuff like that, that was kind of collaboratively made throughout the team. The story of Darksiders is, is pretty deep, and we haven't actually fully revealed why the apocalypse happened. In a nutshell, you've learned that there are forces between heaven and hell that are vying for control of Earth and certain other resources that lie somewhere between the two realms. And the horsemen are caught up in the middle because they are ultimately the ones who are responsible for beginning and ending worlds. In the first Darksiders, one of the horsemen, War, gets framed for destroying Earth. There's a conspiracy between heaven and hell. He sort of takes the blame, mankind's wiped out, and then he is stripped of his powers and imprisoned for 100 years. Then he's given a chance to come back and prove his innocence, and he's got to pretty much kill everyone involved. The first game ended in very epic fashion. It was one of the things that players really seemed like the most was that moment when War says, no, not alone, and you see the broken seal and the comets coming in behind him. Darksiders 2 takes place in, in pretty much in parallel to the first game. In the time that War is imprisoned by the Council, it kind of happens in that 100 years, the Death's kind of own challenge kind of kicks off in that sort of time. Because there's such a conspiracy and we don't know who all the players are, Death doesn't have any chance of proving his brother's innocence. He knows it'll just be covered up, so he just decides to undo the crime. I think the thing that Death finds through this whole trip is redemption. I mean, he's carrying a big weight on his shoulders all the way through the game, and, you know, it's kind of revealed to the player what sort of weight that he's actually carrying with him, both physically and mentally. The hardest part was getting it to the point where we knew we were making something special, but once we got there, we were off to the races. We knew it was going to be good.